Mount Everest, standing over 29,000 feet tall, is the tallest mountain on Earth. Situated in the majestic Himalayas between Tibet and Nepal, it holds many secrets and puzzles that have puzzled people for years. Today, we'll uncover 15 of the most baffling events on Mount Everest that will astound you. Let's dive in together. Number 15. A Daredevil's Everest Journey in 1933, a man named Maurice Wilson went on a risky adventure with a crazy plan – to fly his plane to the northern slopes of Mount Everest, crash it, and then try to climb the mountain by himself. Even though he didn't have much experience climbing or flying, Wilson was determined to chase his wild dream. He got some basic training in Britain to learn how to climb and fly, trying to prepare himself as best as possible for the tough job ahead. Driven by his unusual beliefs, Wilson did fasting and prayed a lot, thinking that his faith could somehow solve big problems in the world. With strong determination, he started his journey, flying from Britain to India to pursue his extraordinary goal. When he got to the foothills of Everest, Wilson started climbing, pushing himself to reach great heights. Even though he didn't have much climbing experience, he managed to get up to about 22,703 feet on the huge mountain. But something terrible happened, and Wilson's adventurous trip ended in a tragic way. His body was found the next year, surrounded by mystery and wearing strange clothes. People talked a lot about Wilson's clothes, with some saying he was wearing women's clothing, though this wasn't confirmed until later. The way he died just made his expedition even more mysterious. Some even thought he might have reached the top of the mountain before he died, but many people still doubt that. The mystery of Maurice Wilson's unlucky journey to Mount Everest still confuses historians and adventurers today. There are still many questions about why he did it and what exactly happened that led to his death, making this incredible story even more intriguing. Even though time has passed, the true story of Wilson's expedition is still uncertain, leaving his daring adventure forever remembered in the history of mountain climbing. Number 14. Mystery of the Yeti the mysterious tale of the Yeti, also called the Abominable Snowman, tells of a creature thought to wander the mountains of Asia. Despite many expeditions seeking this elusive being in far-off areas of Russia, China, and Nepal, no one has confirmed its existence. People describe the Yeti as a strong creature covered in dark gray or reddish-brown hair, standing about six feet tall and weighing between 200 to 400 pounds. The first sightings of the Yeti came from the Everest area, where local Nepali and Tibetan stories talk about a creature that walks on two legs at night. Some evidence, like big footprints found during expeditions and hair samples collected by scientists, has made people wonder if the Yeti is real, but no solid proof has been found. Even though there have been years of searching, the lack of definite proof hasn't stopped believers. Instead, it shows how rare and hard to find these mysterious creatures are. While people still argue about whether the Yeti exists, its story lives on, hidden in the snowy mountains of Mount Everest. Number 13. The Haunting Mysteries of Mount Everest Mount Everest is famous for its spooky mysteries and strange encounters. Dorya Sherpa became well known for climbing Everest super fast, doing it in just 8 hours and 10 minutes. But there's more to his story than just breaking records. Three days after he climbed Everest, while getting close to the top, Dorya came across a group of frozen climbers, but what he saw next really scared him. He said he saw dark figures like ghosts reaching out for help. He thought these were the spirits of climbers who had died on the dangerous slopes. Lots of Sherpas believe this too, thinking that until the bodies of the dead climbers are given a proper goodbye, their restless spirits will stay on the mountain. But it's really hard to get the bodies back because of the tough conditions and high altitude. As more and more climbers try to climb Everest each year, the number of spirits stuck there grows. It's a spooky reminder of how dangerous the world's tallest mountain can be, and a sign of the strange mysteries that surround it. Number 12. Mallory and Irvine's Everest Climb Back in 1953, when Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay reached the very top of Mount Everest, some people had doubts. They weren't sure if they were actually the first ones to make it there. But if we go back to 1924, there were two English guys, George Mallory and Sandy Irvine. They were seen near the top of Everest, but never made it back down. Before they climbed, Mallory was already a skilled climber. He had been on Everest two times before, exploring paths and maps. On their third attempt, Mallory thought they needed oxygen tanks, which was a bit controversial back then. With Irvine and a few others, Mallory started the climb. They were led by Odell until he got stuck in a snowstorm. When he came back, Mallory and Irvine were gone. 
Years later, they found Mallory's frozen body, but no one could be sure if they had reached the very top. One thing that made people think they did was a missing photo of Mallory's wife. He had promised to leave it at the top. Though it's not definite proof, it adds to the mystery of what happened to Mallory and Irvine up on that huge, snowy mountain. Number 11. Third Presence on Everest Back in 1933, British explorer Frank Smythe came really close to reaching the very top of Mount Everest. He faced strong winds, snow, and low oxygen levels, but sadly, he had to turn back just about a thousand feet from the peak. In his diary, Smythe wrote about something strange he called the third man factor. He felt like he wasn't alone, as if someone else was there with him, keeping him company during his climb. Then, in 1975, two British climbers, Dougal Haston and Doug Scott, had a scary night on Everest. They had to spend the night in a snow cave after reaching the summit late in the day. With not enough air and supplies running low, they were in a really bad situation. But they both said they felt a third presence with them in the snow. This mysterious presence not only kept them warm, but also gave them advice on how to survive. Many other climbers have had similar experiences, feeling like there's a third person with them on Everest, offering comfort and help in the most desperate moments. It's a strange and hard to explain thing that makes the world's tallest mountain even more mysterious. Number 10, a mountaineering legend. Yuli Steck, famously known as the Swiss machine, tragically died in April 2017 while preparing for a challenging climb. He aimed to conquer both Everest via the West Ridge and Lhotse in one attempt, showcasing his remarkable skill and ambition. Steck was akin to the Michael Jordan or Usain Bolt of mountaineering, setting speed records and earning prestigious awards for his bold ascents. Despite his expertise, Steck met his unfortunate end on the Western Climb, a section of Everest he had conquered before. It was meant to be a routine climb for someone of his caliber, simply a part of his training for his upcoming challenge. His climbing partner, Doria Sherpa, expressed the shock felt by climbers worldwide at Steck's sudden death, emphasizing his incredible talent and the mountain's allure. The circumstances of Steck's fall remain uncertain. Whether it was a slip, melting snow, or altitude sickness, no one can say for sure. Climbing alone, as he often did due to his unmatched pace, Steck's fall went unnoticed until it was too late. His passing was a heartbreaking loss for the mountaineering community, underscoring the dangers and uncertainties inherent in such daring pursuits. Number 9. Lost in the Clouds before Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay made their historic climb, there was another mysterious attempt in 1952. A Russian expedition aimed to conquer Everest via the North Route in Tibet. Reports from that time even suggested they planned to place statues of Lenin and Stalin at the summit. The expedition set up a final camp at around 8,000 meters to prepare for their summit push. However, they vanished without a trace, leaving behind a lot of uncertainty. The Russians have always denied that the expedition took place, despite some reports confirming it. One report by Yevgeny Prigozhin in the Alpine Journal mentioned that 35 climbers tried the Northeast Ridge route. However, the USSR denied any such attempt. Despite occasional newspaper articles, there's little documented evidence of what really happened. On April 21st, 1952, the Sydney Morning Herald speculated about the team's fate, but no solid information emerged. Despite many searches, there's been no sign of the team or their leaders. The disappearance of the 1952 Russian expedition remains one of Everest's enduring mysteries, leaving many questions unanswered. Number 8. The Mysterious Discovery at Camp 4 on May 22, 2017, a disturbing discovery shook Everest Base Camp. Four bodies were found inside a tent at Camp 4, unsettling the mountaineering community. The grim finding was made by a rescue team sent to retrieve the remains of a Slovakian climber who had succumbed to altitude sickness. As news of the discovery spread, confusion swept through the mountain. None of the climbing agencies on Everest reported any missing climbers, leaving authorities baffled about the identities of the deceased. Initially, the Nepalese tourism ministry speculated that the bodies belonged to climbers from a previous year's expedition, when no expeditions reported any unaccounted for members. The mystery surrounding the four climbers remains unresolved, adding to Everest's long history of mysterious events. Despite efforts to uncover the truth, the case case remains open, leaving many questions unanswered. It serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers and mysteries that surround Earth's tallest peak. Number 7. The Tragic Story of Everest's Rainbow Valley 
On the northern slope of Mount Everest lies a somber place known as Rainbow Valley. Despite its cheerful name, it's far from a happy valley. This valley serves as a resting place for climbers who didn't reach the summit of Mount Everest. The name Rainbow Valley originates from the colorful jackets left behind by visitors and locals at the cemetery. It's a sorrowful location indeed. Every year, thousands of individuals attempt to climb Mount Everest. While some succeed, many do not. Those who fail become a permanent part of Rainbow Valley. Due to the freezing temperatures, their bodies do not decompose, but instead remain preserved in the snow, contributing to the increasing number of bodies. The accumulation of bodies poses a problem as more and more people meet their end on the mountain. Rainbow Valley becomes crowded with the fallen climbers, serving as a stark reminder of the perils of Mount Everest. However, despite the dangers, people continue to strive to conquer the mountain. And for those who do not succeed, Rainbow Valley serves as their final resting place, a solemn reminder of the risks associated with pursuing glory on the world's tallest peak. Number 6. Mysterious UFO Sightings Over Mount Everest Above Mount Everest, there's talk of peculiar sightings. Some people claim to have seen a disc-shaped UFO soaring in the sky, with some even suggesting it's an alien spaceship. The UFO was reportedly spotted in a high-resolution picture of the mountain taken by filmmaker David Brashears. This image, composed of 477 smaller pictures, offers incredible detail of Mount Everest, from the base camp where climbers prepare to the sky above. Many sky watchers dismiss the idea that the object could be a drone due to its high altitude and the way it blocks out light, creating a silhouette. This mystery has captured the attention of UFO enthusiasts. Some speculate about secret underground bases, akin to Area 51, hidden around Mount Everest, while others ponder the possibility of such bases near the border between India and China. Last year, some classified files were released, revealing seven UFO sightings in the area since 1968. This revelation has excited those fascinated by aliens and UFOs, seeing it as evidence that we're not alone in the universe. The concept of aliens visiting Earth is thrilling and has fueled imaginations for decades. Whether the UFO spotted over Mount Everest truly came from another world remains a mystery. Nonetheless, for believers, it adds another piece to the puzzle, suggesting that we may not be alone amidst the vastness of space. Number 5. Confrontation with Sherpas on Mount Everest Climbing Mount Everest can be full of surprises, but British climber John Griffith and his friends encountered something truly unexpected, a confrontation with a group of angry Sherpas. Sherpas are native mountain guides known for their expertise in guiding climbers on Everest. The confrontation arose from a disagreement higher up on the mountain, catching Griffith and his companions off guard. Griffith, speaking from Lukla, the town serving as the gateway to Everest, described the tense moment when the Sherpas approached. Over a hundred of them appeared, their faces covered, seemingly ready to throw rocks. Fortunately, some climbers at Camp 2, including American climber Melissa Arnott, displayed bravery and helped Griffith and his friends escape unharmed. The confrontation stemmed from an earlier disagreement Griffith's group had with the Sherpas. Initially, they hadn't thought much of it, but the Sherpas returned with reinforcements, leading to a dangerous situation that lasted about 50 minutes. Despite feeling frightened and confused, Griffith and his friends managed to flee. Unfortunately, one member of their group named Simone sustained injuries, but survived. Griffith and his companions quickly descended the mountain to safety, understanding that staying longer would only escalate the situation. While it was a terrifying experience, they were grateful to have escaped with their lives. Climbing Everest is already challenging, without unexpected dangers from those who know the mountain best. Number 4. The Himalayan Goral the Himalayan goral, also known as the gray goral, is a unique animal native to the Himalayas, especially the forests around Mount Everest. These creatures are intriguing, measuring between 95 to 135 centimeters in length and weighing around 35 to 42 kilograms. They have a gray or gray-brown coat with tan legs, featuring lighter patches on their throats and a distinct dark stripe running along their spines. Upon closer inspection, the Himalayan goral appears like a blend of a deer, a ram, and a gazelle, boasting a combination of features that set it apart from other animals in the region.
Typically, they move in small groups ranging from 4 to 12 individuals, and their ability to blend into their surroundings makes them elusive, often challenging to spot for observers. Adapted to the rugged terrain of the Himalayas, the Himalayan goral excels in its environment. Their camouflage skills aid in evading predators and seamlessly blending in with the rocky landscape. It's no surprise they're regarded as one of the unique species in the Everest region. Despite their elusive nature, researchers have managed to study these animals to understand their behavior and habitat better. They play a crucial role in the mountain ecosystem, contributing to species balance in the area. The presence of the Himalayan goral enriches the biodiversity of the Everest region, making it an exceptionally remarkable place. As climbers and adventurers explore the heights of Mount Everest, they may have the chance to catch a glimpse of these fascinating creatures, highlighting the rich variety of life thriving in the world's highest peaks. Number 3. The Story of Marine Fossils on the Himalayas The Himalayas towering over the landscape, harbor a secret from millions of years ago. About 200 million years ago, a piece of land broke away from Africa and embarked on a journey across the Indian Ocean, eventually leading to the formation of the majestic Himalayan Range. As this landmass moved northward, it pushed up the earth in front of it, creating a vast, shallow ocean teeming with marine life. In this ancient ocean, limestone formed from the remains of plants and creatures that once flourished there. These marine fossils narrate a tale of a distant era, when the Himalayas lay submerged beneath the waters. However, as the land continued its northward journey and collided with Asia, the ocean drained away, and the Himalayas emerged. Today, the Indian subcontinent continues its gradual movement, causing the land in its path to rise. This geological phenomenon, known as plate tectonics, elucidates how the Earth's crust shifts over the molten rock beneath it. The discovery of marine fossils atop the Himalayan peaks in 1915 provided evidence supporting the theory of plate tectonics. Nevertheless, some interpret this finding differently. In chapters 6 to 9 of the book of Genesis in the Bible, there's mention of a great flood. Some individuals attribute the presence of marine fossils in the mountains to this biblical event. Despite differing interpretations, scientific evidence points to a distinct narrative, that of ancient oceans and the gradual yet inevitable movement of tectonic plates. The image captured by the Landsat 7 satellite in 2002 offers a glimpse into the breathtaking natural beauty of the Himalayas, while also serving as a reminder of the Earth's dynamic and ever-changing geological history. Number 2. Concerns over growing vegetation in the Himalayas in the expansive Himalayas, a worrying trend is emerging, the rapid proliferation of shrubs and grasses. This development, observed around Mount Everest and throughout the region, has garnered the attention of scientists due to its implications for the future. Satellite data has unveiled an uptick in vegetation in the subnival zone, the highest area where plants can thrive, primarily comprising grasses and dwarf shrubs. This ecosystem, nestled amid seasonal snow, plays a vital role in the region's ecological balance, covering a substantial area compared to permanent glaciers and snow. Researchers from Exeter University, utilizing images from NASA's Landsat satellites spanning from 1993 to 2018, have documented the expansion of vegetation across various altitude brackets. This growth aligns with the troubling trend of Himalayan glaciers melting at an accelerated pace, with the rate of melt doubling since the turn of the century, resulting in the loss of over a quarter of all ice over the past four decades. The escalating vegetation in the Himalayas raises concerns about the region's susceptibility to climate-induced shifts. While the proliferation of shrubs and grasses may appear harmless, it signifies significant changes in ecosystem dynamics. Such alterations could have profound consequences, impacting water resources, biodiversity, and the livelihoods of communities reliant on these delicate ecosystems. This scenario underscores the urgent need for further research and proactive measures to address the risks associated with changing vegetation patterns in the Himalayas. Understanding the intricate interplay between climate change glacier melt, and ecosystem dynamics is crucial for formulating strategies to mitigate the impacts and safeguard the ecological integrity of this iconic mountain range. Number 1. The Remarkable Journey of Jim Davidson Jim Davidson, a seasoned mountain climber and environmental geologist from Fort Collins, Colorado, found himself at Camp 1 on Mount Everest in 2015 when disaster struck. 
a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked the Himalayas, claiming the lives of 18 people on the mountain and nearly 9,000 others across Nepal and neighboring countries. It was the deadliest day in Everest's history. Remarkably, Davidson survived the chaos, eventually being rescued by helicopter 11 days later as rescue efforts unfolded. Despite the trauma of the earthquake and avalanche, Davidson's spirit remained unbroken. In the summer of 2016, just two years after the tragedy, he made the courageous decision to return to Everest. Motivated by witnessing his friends summit the peak and feeling like he was missing out on the experience, Davidson resolved to attempt Everest once again the following year. With unwavering determination and a supportive family by his side, Davidson embarked on rigorous training to minimize his risks for the second attempt. In his mid-50s at the time, Davidson committed himself to daily training sessions, averaging four hours a day and sometimes pushing himself to train for up to 12 hours. Sacrificing other hobbies, he prioritized his preparation for Everest while still making time for his family. After years of dedication and perseverance, Davidson's efforts paid off. Standing atop Everest, he realized his long-held dream and sent a heartfelt message to his wife, declaring, I'm standing on the roof of the world. Davidson's journey serves as a powerful testament to the resilience and determination of the human spirit. Despite facing one of the most daunting experiences on Everest, he not only survived, but returned to conquer the mountain, showcasing the strength of perseverance and the pursuit of one's dreams against all odds. Alrighty folks, that's a wrap for this video. We hope you find it informative and enjoyable. So, which of these discoveries shocked you the most? Share in the comments below. Moreover, if you appreciate our content and wish to stay updated on our latest releases, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Your support means the world to us. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.